Hey what's up guys my name is Shubhro and you're watching another video of Computer Edu 101. In this video I'm gonna be teaching you some three commands, three to four commands in terminal of Linux that you can use uh, very commonly to do certain tasks that you can perform pretty easily in Windows. But using terminal you can use it very easily and very fast. The first thing is Show, displaying any message that you want to display across your terminal you can use it if uh, suppose three or four people are logged into your system and if you want to convey a message to them you can use this technique and there is another way of doing that I'll teach you that in uh, later uh, after showing after displaying the message I'll be teaching you how to use your terminal as a calculator and then I'll be teaching you how to start a script that will record each and every activities login activities in your machine suppose you have created a server and some of your friends are logged into it and they're doing certain task using your server like say adding a file deleting a file whatever they are doing you can keep a record of your session by using by starting a script that I'll be showing to you and then I'll also be showing you how to change your password the password that you have set for your operating system you can change it in your terminal using a command so at first I'm gonna start with uh, showing you the command which can display whatever message you wanna display to your friends or whoever uh, logged into your terminal um, the command that is used to display any message is pretty easy if you have any experience with uh, PHP you'll know what the command is if you already guessed it yes you're right it's echo if you wanna display any message just type echo and then write whatever you wanna write just suppose um, my name is Shubhro and I love ah I made a spelling mistake down there I love using Ubuntu Oh, there is another spelling mistake. Silly me. Anyways, uh, just press enter and as you can see, it's already printed. My name is Shubro and I love using Ubuntu. Now I'll test it by opening another terminal. Um, come on, silly terminal. Terminal and see if it shows into that. If it, if it doesn't, then... Um, hi. No, it doesn't. It actually doesn't carry forward the message from one terminal to another terminal. There is another, um, there is another command for that, using which you can chat with every one of your friends who are logged into your system. You can do this by. Uh, you can also do that using your Raspberry Pi. Suppose you have set up your Raspberry Pi as a server, as a media streaming server, which is attached to uh, your hard disk uh, w whether it is one terabyte or two terabyte hard disk and they're watching movies and suddenly you feel the urge to pass a message to them and you can see that uh, all of them are logged into your machine right now if you check the script you'll get to see that they are logged in then uh, if you wanna pass a message to them you can just go to your terminal and start chatting with them that's another command which I'm gonna show you later on not in this video anyways guys that was uh, showing that was printing a message in terminal now I'm gonna shift to showing you how to use your terminal as a calculator well you can use your terminal as a calculator but just by typing BC command when you type this command your terminal automatically goes to a state where it acts as a calculator so I have typed BC press enter now it's a calculator say I I want to perform a very critical mathematical solution like 120 into 90 plus 60 minus 50 divided by 20 it's a huge lot of things going on uh, down here so when I press enter it's gonna show me the result as you can see the result is 10 85 8 so that's how it it's done now there are certain options that you can use with that 
I'm gonna be uh, putting the option thingy as a file in the video description so you can download and see what are the options available for this as I did for my earlier videos the first option that I want to show you is that I want to scale the video I want to scale the calculator to show up to five decimal point say I have typed okay first I want to show you what I am talking about suppose I said I want to divide 13 by 5 it's not even showing it's not even showing the decimal point so say I scaled it to the point of 3 where it's gonna show decimal after 3 points I divided by 3 as you can see 2.600 that's how you do it okay now I am going to exit out of this PC command oh okay I think I got that part wrong ah control D it's not exit my bad you need to press control D to get out of this BC mode and as you can see when you did that you got out of your BC mode and when you go to BC mode again uh, I should just clear this out before I do anything yeah BC now I wanna show you a very unique way say you have always heard of binary thing right but you have never seen any binary output by any operating system so far but you can get the binary output of any number in this for that you need to use uh, obase command equals to 2 and when you do that every number you put inside or every calculation that you do it's gonna give out the result as a binary suppose I wanna know the binary value of 2 press enter it's 10 suppose I wanna know the binary value of 1 press enter it's 1 I guess I did something wrong again no nah, I didn't it's right I'll do 1 1 1 yeah it's correct it's showing the proper binary 0 is 0 26 is 1101101010 the output is in binary as you can see everything is showing as a binary it's binary so we need to get out of this uh, that was how to use your terminal uh, as a calculator well uh, one thing I need to tell you is that if you know the binary of the numbers then you can also perform the calculation using your binary because there is another command which is called ibase2 when you do that whatever binary input that you do terminal would convert it into a number and then do the calculation and provide you the output as a number anyways uh, after that now it's time for us to show you how to record the session of your operating system a session is something when you start your computer then you're into one session when you logged in that's one session so you can uh, record each and every sessions into your operating system say um, so when you do you need to type a command script that is script when you do that it starts a script started and the file name is typescript by default now I have created a typescript uh, at the very beginning so it's gonna override that file and now it's gonna provide whatever actions has been taken in a terminal and it's gonna do that it's gonna print that into your um, TypeScript file so everything that's happening into different um, terminals it's actually get recorded so we can easily exit out of this and type exit now the TypeScript had exited from the editing mode now we you you can see this by clicking and opening it using text document text editor my bad it shows started Friday 26 July 2013 7 9 it's 7 10 just passed so it recorded everything everything that I did on my terminal has been recorded in here so it basically keeps a record of what's going on in your terminal um, it, it actually records the terminal session my, uh, I got that wrong so changing your password this is pretty easy I think many of you know how to change your password in terminal the command is pretty easy P A W S W D pass password 
changing for yeah so I'll just type in a p address and that's how I changed my password well I guess you have enjoyed now after this I'm gonna teach you to see who are logged into your system say you have created a server and all of your friends are using it and you want us to know who are logged into your system and using your server then you can do that by using another command which I'm not gonna tell you in this video for that you need to watch the next video in the next video I'll be teaching you how to see who are logged into your system know your machines name know your knowing your terminal displaying the setting terminal character and stuff like that anyways guys it's been a nice time if you like this video then don't forget to click that like button down, down below in the description and don't forget to share this video with your friends and if you have any suggestions or any feedback regarding this video don't forget to post them in the comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any more of these videos thank you for watching our video have a nice time bye bye